Right, Deputy Liberal Leader Susan Lee has been doing what new opposition should, travelling extensively around the country and listening attentively. She's right when she says, as she did in the Australian newspaper today, that the Coalition's last big win back in 2013 was not, repeat, not solely the result of Labor's disastrous government descending into chaos. chaos. But she's wrong when she goes on to say and deny what she calls, quote, some nostalgic view where yesterday's Liberal Party was supposedly brilliant compared to today. Now, sorry, Susan, I reckon the 2013 Liberal Party was brilliant compared to today. You're out of government in every jurisdiction on the mainland, including Canberra, and stuck in this ridiculous debate about whether or not the party needs to move further to the left when that's the very reason you're all in the mess you're in. As you yourself go on to say, and I quote, we won in 2013 because we were a strong and united team that spoke very clearly to all Australians about our immediate priorities and the policies we would enact. She said there was no sniping from inside the tent. There were no factional chiefs threatening to bring the party down. Well, dead right, unlike now. The big difference between 2013 and now is that the Liberal Party then wasn't offering just a critique, it was offering a solution. Not just talking about cutting power prices, but doing something about it by pledging to scrap Labor's carbon tax, which it did. Not just talking about stopping the boats, but determined to stop them by turning them around so that people smugglers didn't have a product to sell, which it did. My old boss, Tony Abbott, didn't have a crisis about whether or not he should be Labor light in order to win. And no chance of that. He was a strong liberal in the Howard mould who reached out to blue-collar Labor types and said, well, they've abandoned you. They've abandoned you for the Greens, so join us at the Liberal Party instead. Abbott also set out to weaken the power of factional uh, string pullers, telling them that they could be power brokers or lobbyists, but not both. He was clear about a laser-like focus on Labor's failures. And he wasn't scared to have a fight because he used to say, you need to get out of politics if you don't think there are some things in this life worth fighting for or worth defending. So I'd say to the current crop of Liberals who think the 2013 landslide happened by magic, well, it didn't. I was there. It was sheer hard work and conviction. That's what the brilliant bit is about it all. And for all Peter Dutton's sound instincts, the party's not brilliant now. Although credit where credit's due, saying a strong no to Labor's dangerous and divisive voice is a very good start.